coming through in the allocations, as well as the tax measures. So there are specific tax incentives for those sectors. Yeah. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Well, we now want to take you to Treasury, and the man of the moment has emerged. That is a live pictures from National Treasury. Henry Rotich has emerged with the briefcase, and uh, he's now posing for pictures as he awaits to make his way to Parliament buildings. And uh, it's exactly a uh, few minutes past 3 p.m. and uh, slightly late, but uh, fashionably late as well. And we'll be getting to hear from the Treasury Cabinet Secretary on his plans for the budget 2018-2019 in relation to the taxation and spending plans for the country. Well, those are live pictures for you on the latest from Treasury buildings where the National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich has stepped out. And uh, next to him we are seeing the Principal Secretary and that is Dr. Kamau Thuge. Those are the minds behind the budget. They spent sleepless nights trying to craft the budget, trying to balance out how will this work out as we continue to look forward towards this. It's, it's more of a uh, a first term budget for Rotich under the second administration uh, term of President Uhuru Kenyatta is actually uh, under the second term. It's his first uh, time that he's presenting the budget. He's posing there with uh, various uh, uh, top government officials. I can see the peers for planning, Dr. Julius Muya, is also standing by there. Uh, quite uh, an exciting day. Rotich resplendent in his uh, black suit adorning uh, the traditional flower, just a symbol of uh, power and, of course, showing that the government is ready to roll with the budget. As flanked there, we're also seeing the central bank governor, Dr. Patrick Njoroge, a man who continues to shape the banking sector in the country. And uh, we continue to see and expect a lot more, especially in the banking sector, in a time where we are seeing a lot of uh, shifts in the region. And, uh, of course, uh, we, we, we did see the rate cap, which had a big impact on uh, the credit uptake in the country. This will also be perhaps forming a critical point of reflection for the country, whether to scrap off the rate cap or to sort of tinker with it and ensure that uh, it still has a strong framework when it comes to ensuring that uh, consumer issues are protected under the law. I can also see Esther Koimet, the investment secretary, who is also just standing behind the Treasury Cabinet Secretary. She is also one of the key people when it comes to formulation of the budget. And uh, she actually sits in in some of the big conversations around the investment decisions that Kenya will be considering to take in the event that uh, we are looking for bilateral trade relations or receiving grants or aids in any fashion of the country. And uh, well, the briefcase is there. Henry Rotich looking very energetic, excited, ready to present this year's budget. Uh, quite a historic moment for him as he makes his way to Parliament buildings. And uh, it will be interesting to see whether he'll be taking the Route 11, as people say. Will he be walking to Parliament or not? And uh, I can see from the pictures, he's sort of uh, making his way into, if I'm not wrong, a Passat. And, uh, oh yes, he's standing by there and uh, he's uh, very, very ready to go. As you can see, the budget briefcase is there. And uh, we will be looking forward to ensuring that we give you our wall-to-wall -wall coverage of this particular budget. Quite uh, a scene there, reporters scrambling, trying to get a word from Rotich. But the security men have been able to contain this. And indeed, it is a passat. And uh, it also symbolizes the government's commitment towards ensuring that um, they s sort of place a lead on government spending, where we did see the issues of passats came in into force. And uh, when uh, President Uru Kenyatta was actually in Treasury as the finance minister, and uh, we continue to cover this coverage for you. Now, we want to take you to Parliament, where Patrick Amimo is on standby to receive the CS for the National Treasury. Over to you, Amimo. The CS uh, 